Hi, it's Kirby and Dana from KGF Travel Adventures, and we're heading to Grand Floridian to try out the Enchanted Rose Lounge, which is Beauty and the Beast themed. Let's go. Let's go. Disney is still fairly strict about not being able to park at resorts unless you are staying at that resort or have a dining reservation. Since the Enchanted Rose is a lounge and doesn't take reservations, we parked at the Magic Kingdom parking at Ticket and Transportation Center and took the resort monorail to the Grand Floridian. If you're staying on Disney property, they tend not to run buses that go from resort to resort, but you could take any bus to any theme park and then take transportation from that park to Grand Floridian. It's not a traditional full dinner food menu since it's just a lounge. We shared an artisanal cheese selection, croquettes, smoked trout and crab dip, and house-made truffle fries, and we each got a beverage. The bar seating even had outlets and purse hooks. All right, how did you like Enchanted Rose Lounge? It was really nice. Yeah. And if, we got lucky and got in right away. Yeah, we went like as it opened. And so there we didn't have a, a wait, but I imagine, right, as, as you get into sort of prime mm -hmm. lounge time, that it might get busy. And it it's a lounge and a bar, but it's kid, kid friendly. We saw kids in there. It's not, I mean, it's, yep. it's Disney. Everything is kid friendly. Um, but make sure you look at all the different rooms, um, depending on where they sit you in, because it's all subtle Beauty and the Beast themed. Mm -hmm. The food was delicious. It was really good. Really good in the drinks. We could have ordered. I know we we, I mean, we didn't have space. <laughs> but we when we were looking at the thing, I was like, I only see two things I don't want. Right. <laughs> like we can't order eight things. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So, but it was really good. And then we didn't want to go back home yet. Nope. So we did a little bit of hotel hopping. Uh, the really nice part, right, once you get on Disney property, you can take a, any sort of mode of transportation anywhere. So did a little hotel hopping around. Let's go. So we took the monorail back to Magic Kingdom and then hopped on a boat to Wilderness Lodge. Next up in our Disney transportation roulette, a bus to Animal Kingdom Lodge. Animal Kingdom Lodge has two main sections, Kandani Village, which is the vacation club section, and Jumbo House, which is the regular hotel resort style section. Our first stop was at Kandani Village.
While there is a bus that will take you from Kadani Village to Jumbo House, it's not a long walk. Let's check it out. So the walk from the main house at Kadani to the main area at Jamba House was about 0.4 miles, took us about 10 minutes. ride of the night, the parking tram. <laughs> that was it. That was it. It's fun to do Disney without the parks. Yeah, there's and there's so many different things you can do mm -hmm. without stepping foot in the theme park. So mm -hmm. and you can have that really Disney experience and service and and magic without and having had a luxe Disney experience. Yes, you could have had a complimentary Disney experience oh, yeah. and you just could totally do that yeah. without buying anything. But that was really fun. Still cheaper than going to the park, though. So lots, hundred percent, but cheaper than the park. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kirby. I'm Dana. I'm KGF Travel Adventures. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when all of our new videos drop. Bye. Bye.